you see him and he's out there, you, you know, under the big lights like X Games, no matter what, if he has the best run of his life or if he ends up crashing, he's still got the same smile on his face. It's just so pure. The four X Games gold medals and groundbreaking performances, Kevin Peraza was an aspiring rider learning his BMX roots. Turns out, his BMX roots extend back to his father, who learned to ride in Mexico. Yeah, my dad was a BMX rider back in the day. He loved being the center of attention at racetracks, always wearing nice gear, like, oh, it looked cool, it looked cool. And not to mention all the cool look backs and tables he would do. So I love BMX because I feel freedom. I use it for work, the bike, for going to the school. I always ride with passion. I would start to come to Tucson just for race. We are many in Mexico, but not a nice track like here. I told my wife, right after Mary, we need to go live in the U.S. for keeping doing what I like, cars and BMX. They ended up getting married and then made the move out here to Tucson, Arizona. I told my wife, I need and I want kids right away because I want to ride with my boys before I get old. And we came in the picture. As a child, Kevin was so hyper, always moving, always trying to challenge himself. We put him on different sports, but we saw that he has a lot of skills on BMX. It was so natural on them. I believe that's because of my husband. We put him on the track racing when he was four. All his energy that he had as a little boy, he just let it out on the bike and it ended up being really good. Just like a beginning of a new chapter where, where I found something I actually loved for the first time after playing multiple sports, you know, just going into BMX and racing for a little bit and then realizing all the freestyle aspect outside of racing just blew my mind. By his mid-teens, Kevin Peraza's interest in BMX was cemented. David and I started doing shows at churches with my dad after we quit racing. I think from that point it was just learn, learn, learn. As the Peraza family started becoming more immersed in BMX culture, Victor Peraza began traveling with his children to BMX events in Southern California and nearby Mexico. And like always, you know, it was, you're here to have a good time, win or lose, you know what I mean? And that was always like the mentality that my dad gave us, you know, and told us where, where you're not here to win, you're here to ride your bike and you're here to enjoy it. And that was always so cool because I never felt pressure. We didn't have skate parks in Tucson, so we ended up making a backyard setup. Kevin's progression when we had the backyard setup was unreal. I am in complete shock on how good he's riding right now. I can't believe how good it is. Kevin was already like slowly getting into do tour and free flow tour finals and all that. I don't know what happened, but it just clicked on him and he just went through the roof with this. Like that's what make it gave it a bigger shock to us is that we didn't even realize how good he really was until he was winning all these huge contests. And then Simple Session came around. After being picked as an alternate for two years prior, Kevin Peraza was invited to ride in the 2013 Simple Session in Tallinn, Estonia. Kevin is in the finals this year. Everyone wants to be in the finals. It's Simple Session, come on, we all know this contest. The heavy hitters are there. He made a name for himself that day. Kevin was uh, relatively unknown. No one had really seen him ride or knew who he was. Yeah, he dropped in and started his run with a massive Superman seat grab and from then onwards it was like an explosion. Like just like a firecracker all over the park, just hugest tricks, best style. It was amazing. I think from then everyone kind of stood up and was like, whoa, who is this kid? He's absolutely insane. Kevin Peraza is on fire! Watching my brother compete in Europe and I'm just like, oh my God, he just won this. He just won this. This is the greatest thing ever. Like, I can't believe this. A rookie on the international pro scene, Peraza walked away a household name. I definitely cried. It was, it was a big moment, you know, in the start of something new for me where bigger contests were going to start inviting me. That was such a huge step in Kevin's career, for sure. After that, everything just, just took off. Following a major pro win, Peraza's window of a BMX opportunity expanded to include brand sponsorships, product endorsements, and world travel. Putting Kevin Prowse on the Mongoose team was a no-brainer. The kid's got it all. He's positive attitude, everybody likes him, and most importantly, he loves riding his bike. It just created like a whole new path through my career where I felt motivated and I was ready to go, you know, and I, and I just realized where, where I needed to be and it definitely gave me that push and that motivation to continue. As much as Peraza's organic reach was stretching, 
his digital presence grew alongside it. Within the year, Peraza produced several digital videos that expanded the realm of BMX potential even further. Almost overnight, Peraza went from contest pro to established originator. Not many riders are able to film one progressive video part in a year time span, let alone two, like Kevin did. Filming these projects, there's a lot that goes into them. There's a lot of battles that aren't necessarily that you can compare to a contest style environment. And it's amazing to see what he was able to walk away with. And to accomplish something like that all in the middle of a hectic contest schedule is a feat in itself. There's not many riders that can pull that off. By the time X Games arrived in Austin, Peraza was getting invites to BMX Park and Dirt. We're freaking out here at the house. He gets the email, he opens it up. My mom is losing her mind. Like My house was so loud that day. It's X Games. We made a family trip. To be one of the athletes invited is, is insane, insane. So uh, that is already winning for me, man. I was riding against dudes like Corey Nastasio and TJ Ellis, you know, and it was two out of three runs that counted. And my first run was solid. Look at the Big style. tabletop 360, huge Superman seat grab, putting together a really good solid first run. And then coming into my second run, it was one of the highest scores of the day. What does Kevin Peraza bring to the party here in run number two? Well, I know he brings that lawn dart front flip that I love seeing. Rolling, hit the ramps, style, style, style. And I say, he's getting it, he's his day. And I told my friends, I'm sorry, uh, the other riders, be careful with Kevin because when he rides happy, with love, he kills everybody. He's the best. There it is! Oh. I love that! That is the single highest run score we have seen today. Three points shy of a perfect run score. Kevin Peraza in a commanding lead here in round number two. Kevin wins BMX Dirt. Oh my, I'm getting the chills just saying that right now. It was a dream come true, not only for him, but for me, because I grew up riding with him. I know where we came from, I know what BMX was to us. So seeing that, of course I cried, I had to. Finished off the, the, the whole weekend healthy and walked away with my first gold medal, and, and that, was, that, was, that was pretty speechless still. I'm still pretty speechless. <laughs> it's like, you're wearing, you're wearing the medal around your neck, you don't even know if it's real life anymore. And, you're in the history books of action sports, and that to me is insane. It's so crazy that, that my name's it's stamped there forever as, as a gold medalist in dirt. I'm so proud. 2016 proved to be a stellar year for Peraza. In addition to X Games Gold, Peraza won another simple session, as well as Nora Cup Dirt Rider of the Year. With multiple invites to compete at X Games Minneapolis in 2017, Peraza was feeling the pressure of repeat. Going into Minneapolis in 2017, I was a defending gold medalist in dirt, and the pressure was just for dirt. So when I was riding park, it was so mellow, and I was just doing my thing. We were sitting on the bleachers, and we had a big banner with his name on it. To be up there, being in that pressure cooker situation, and to look to the side and see the people that love you the most, it's huge, it kind of takes the pressure off. That only made me feel more love and more support from the crowd to a point where I forgot about the contest and forgot about me competing against everyone else but myself. Get set to welcome in Tucson, Arizona's Kevin Peraza. You're returning gold medalist for BMX Dirt, but he's no slouch on the park course either, Scotty. Seeing his run, I realized his energy level was way beyond everyone's. Like, he was just stoked on riding that day. He woke up feeling good. Look at that, 360 tail hook to late invert. Classic style, perfect execution, making every BMX rider proud on that one. He makes it seem like it's so easy. His runs are always so flawless, yet they are so difficult. Amazing stuff from Kevin Peraza. He's got to feel great about this run. Doing tricks like the nose 180 half cab tail whip and the nose wheelie 360 just goes to prove his confidence on the technicality side of his riding. Those aren't the type of tricks that you would typically see in a park contest just because they're one in a hundred. And I think what helped me was doing what I love to do and, and all the fun little things outside of the crazy wowing tricks for the crowd, you know, and, and, and it paid off. The second run was one of my one of the highest scores throughout the whole contest, and I just ended up staying in first. Kevin Peraza adds his name to the list of BMX Park winners. 
Hey, two medals. He has two medals. They're both gold. It's a dream for everybody. They've been talking about this since they were little ones. It's amazing what Kevin is doing. We are so proud. With BMX, it's been so rad to have three other brothers and a dad that's into, into it as well. So it's I never ride alone. I'm always with someone, you know, and I'm always having someone to push me and make me laugh and teach, you know, and learn from. Our family is just, we're just, we're like this. And BMX definitely brought us together. Our bonding, it's just, it's something different. Like, we can all link back up together on the same thing, and that's just riding bikes, and that's what makes it fun. <laughs> I think BMX to me is family at the end of the day. Having not only a family that rides BMX, but also going to other countries where you don't have to speak the same language to vibe with someone that loves the same thing you do. And that, that to me has always been so incredible that you, you can go anywhere in the world and if they ride BMX, you just made a new friend. From X Games Gold to the streets of Mexico, Peraza has demonstrated a reach that expands far beyond the streets of Tucson.